Okay, we can go ahead and get started. Um, welcome everyone for, for coming to another course key webinar. Thank you for spending part of your day with us today. Um, we are really going to be talking about our new pivot point integration, um, which is saving a lot of our partner schools um, time and in the process, a lot of money. So uh, my name is Alex. Um, I'm the marketing manager at Course Key, and I'm joined by our VP of marketing, Adam. And the two of us are really going to go through, you know, what this integration means and how it's impacting schools and how you can get involved um, and adopt this integration if you're interested. And you can see at the bottom, um, this, this specific session is really for Pivot Point and FAME users, which is hopefully um, everyone on this call. Uh, before we jump in, I did want to mention, um, I know there's a scheduling conflict with some of the, the Paul Mitchell uh, schools. There's um, a Paul Mitchell education training um, happening right now. And um, we just wanted to mention that this will be a recorded session and we're going to be sending it out to anyone who's registered. So um, just so you know, you will get this recording in your email at, um, a little bit later in the week. Okay, great. And we do have time at the end for Q&A. So if you have some questions, I mean, you can definitely ask them throughout the presentation using the chat function or the Q&A function. Um, but at the end, we will allocate a few minutes to answer any questions that you might have. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So like I said, um, you'll be hearing from, from me, Alex, and from Adam as well. Um, we're going to be introducing the course key and pivot point integration and really how it's impacting schools just like yours um, and take you through kind of, you know, why we built this and all that. So that's on this outcome slide. Uh, we have about, this will be about 20 to 25 minute long webinar, and these are the outcomes that we will get from it. Uh, we'll take a quick look at the current process um, that we've seen through, from our partner schools that are probably the same that or similar to what um, your schools are going through, some of the pain points and issues that come through this manual process, and um, also why we built the integration. We'll take a look at how the integration works, um, kind of not dive too deeply into the technology side of it, but give you a good idea, and then how it's saving time, um, most importantly of all, and how that impacts students, instructors, and administrators at uh, your campus. Last thing is we will go over an implementation timeline and really steps to, to get involved and move, move forward in the process. I saw we had, um, okay, Jamie, thanks for, thanks for that. Um, all right, we're gonna move on. So the current process that we um, know exists today and, and part of the reason why we built this integration um, is, is a manual process and that pertains from, to getting students grades uh, and other, other information from Pivot Point Lab into your SIS. So we know that um, whether it's administrators or admins, or sorry, um, instructors, that a lot of this transfer, most of this transfer is a manual process and it can have a lot of time variance on how long it takes, but also there's a few issues that stem from that. So we'll take a look at that right now. All right, here's where we get into, into the pain points. So we know that the manual data transfer and having to update individual student records by hand um, takes instructors and admins a lot of time per week. We've heard um, in some cases, you know, three hours per week, all the way to 10 plus hours per week. Um, it really sometimes comes down to how, much, how many students you have enrolled and how many students profiles you need to update. Um, though we know this takes a lot of time from um, instructors and administrators, and it's really time that they could be using to do more high, high, or high value tasks and time that could be allocated to your students. Um, plus, who wants to be entering data in for hours per week? I, I wouldn't. Um, so that's the first bullet. Second one, it's a manual process. So that, of course, means that it takes, takes some time to complete. And that always leads to delayed access to the up-to-date data. And it can create a bottleneck for a lot of processes. Um, for example, delaying the R2T4 calculations. And because this is a manual process um, and there's human, uh, human intervention involved, it inevitably will come with some kind of mistakes and inaccuracies. I mean, that comes with the territory when you're doing any manual data entry. 
And with, um, with that comes more time to get, get rid of those mistakes and correct those mistakes, looking back, having to communicate with um, the stakeholders that um, that data pertains to and can be a messy process sometimes. All right, we've heard about um, fines um, due to data mismanagement and just not having the process uh, or everyone follow the process at your school that can really lead to some issues in compliance. Um, and then two really big um, issues that stem from this manual data process. The first one is um, administrators and instructors and students themselves. They don't have real-time visibility into the students' grades, attendance, um, and skills completion. This is a real issue because how are we supposed to know if a student is at risk or if they're falling behind if we can't see that in the data? Um, and we know that for this bottom bullet, it, that can really negatively impacts the retention. Um, if, a, if a student is at risk and we're not aware of it, any hour or day that goes by um, without any intervention, without some outreach and support can really um, increase the chances that a student will drop. And that is the last thing that we want. So it, it, it seems like a, a quick process, you know, transferring data manually from, from Pivot Point Lab into your SIS. But there are a lot of different trickle down effects that come from that process. And so that is really why we built this. Um, is Adam, is there anything you want to add to this slide? No, I think the, I mean, this, this is great. And, you know, obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, bullets here. Um, I, I think the, the summary of it is, you know, we built this and I'm probably getting, um, Alex, I'm probably getting into the next slide, but we, we built this because we had heard from a lot of schools that this transfer process was um, very time consuming, right? Um, which makes it expensive, right? Um, and there were data accuracy issues. And when we started having more of those conversations, well, you know, tell, tell us more about that. It was sort of clear to us, ah, there's, there's a whole lot of like cascading issues here, right? Because as Alex said, if you have a data accuracy, accuracy issue, you may have a compliance issue. Um, and then it gets into, well, this student's maybe at risk of dropping out, but we don't see it yet, or that the people who would be in charge of mounting those intervention strategies don't see it yet because the system that they're going into to try to find that information, to try to find the great information, it's not there yet. You know, it's lagging by a number of days, maybe, um, you know, a week or more. And so just that, that whole entire spectrum from manual, difficult, time consuming, expensive, prone to error, compliance risk, right? They sort of all go through the blender as one and, and gets us to, you know, this, which is, you know, why, why did we ultimately, you know, build this? Um, and it was to address each of those challenges, right? Because what we've heard from a lot of the schools is, you, you know, you got into the business of, of being a part of a school because, you know, you want to teach, you want to train, you want to, you know, produce the next generation of, of, of you know, cosmetologists, of beauty and wellness experts. Um, so you want to maximize the time that you are spent with the student, right, doing that training, not on, you know, these sorts of, you know, manual processes, which ultimately, I think, probably take a lot of time away from, you know, the instruction and the training. Yeah, that, that's all right. And to give to give a little bit of um, you know testimonial from some of the schools that we've talked with, um, this is really from some of our partner schools that were part of a pilot program to get this integration built out correctly. So you know from Chicago, from Paul Mitchell School, Chicago Lombard, um, they had to take about twenty minutes every time to enter um, day uh, grades. The Colorado Springs campus, they had about three hours per week on average. Salt Lake City, two to three hours per week inputting grades. Um, but we've really seen the spectrum have a lot of variety and it comes down to um, really how many students are um, enrolled and how many student profiles they need to update. Um, quick note on this slide, just wanna say um, thank you to these schools for being part of that pilot, um, pilot program. They really helped us with their input and um, optimizing the integration so that it's ready for you all for the rest of the beauty and wellness um, schools. So thank you to our partner schools there. All right, we covered why we built this integration. Adam did a great job explaining really on a high level, it's to address all the things that he mentioned, but to provide instructors, administrators, and students 
with a world-class experience and really get the focus back on the training and um, actually developing those skills instead of having to do so much manual work to get just the data where you need it to be. Okay, so now we're gonna jump into the actual integration itself. We'll move on to some of the benefits, um, but we're gonna spend a bit of time here on how it works. So it uses, the integration uses an API uh, integration. So what that means is that anytime that there is an update that happens in Pivot Point Lab, um, here down the bottom left, there the data and the change in the record is pushed to course key right away. So an API integration means that any change that happens is gonna be automatically reflected into course key um, right then and there within a split second. And then from course key to get those um, records and those updates into fame, we, we have our partner schools just do one bulk upload um, per week typically, and that takes maybe five to 10 minutes uh, versus having to go in and, and update each student's profile by hand. So if it takes the, takes the time it takes from um, to update the records from hours and hours per week to just five to 10 minutes per week, which is great. But I'd like to focus on this first bit here where Pivot Point is pushing things to course key automatically anytime there's a change. Um, that's really important because uh, while, while the data might take an extra step to get into fame, having the Pivot Point lab data pushed to course key right away gives the instructors and the admins and the students all um, access to the critical data in real time and le lets everyone make data-driven decisions right away. So they're not missing a beat there and they have their pulse on exactly what's happening in the programs and with every student. But we're gonna get into that uh, right away. Oh, this is a, a quick view of what I mean by like consolidating the view into course key. So this is a student's profile where we can see, um, where instructors and admins can see and students can see their total hours, um, any practical operations that they need to, or they are completing and their progress there, theory hours. Uh, this is really broken down depending on your program by um, whatever you need to track, whether it's synchronous attendance, asynchronous um, skills that you need to practice, things like that. That is all consolidated into one view and course key where and all the stakeholders have access to that real-time data and can keep keep a tab on exactly what's happening. This is another view there, just the bottom. You see some of the grades that came through. All right. Okay, now this is the reason why we're all here. How does this benefit your institution? Um, number one, as you've seen on the title of this presentation, time is money and it saves uh, these our schools a ton of time per week. And really how it does that is with that automatic transfer, that's that API integration. It turns what used to be hours per week into just minutes to update the students' records. Um, the second bullet here, skipping the manual process, gives staff the ability to take that time that they would normally spend updating everyone's profile and give it back um, to the students or allocate it to different um, uh, processes that are um, very, much more important. Um, we'll let the machines do handle the data um, updating and let humans go back to, you know, teaching and helping skills, helping students develop their skills. And then, of course, any intervention and support that's needed to at risk students who are indicating that they might be slipping a little bit, we can use that time to get them back on track. And another note for saving time is just a, um, not needing to adjust or correct the, um, the records that come through the um, manual process being eliminated means that data is that data integrity is really high and that you won't have to spend um, nearly as much time, if any, going back to adjusting correct records. All right, the second way benefits the institution is access to the critical student data right away. So this is more towards that retention and intervention side. Um, it, Having that, this having the integration and having that data be pushed automatically provides complete visibility of attendance and other data to, um, for the students, instructors, and administrators to view whenever they whenever they need. Um, and why that's so critical, of course, the ability to intervene with students as soon as possible instead of you know a delayed intervention strategy or intervention outreach that could be two or three days, maybe even a week or two late. Um, and that has a really low chance of being successful in keeping students back on track. Um, and the second bullet here, one of my favorite things we've heard from our partner institutions is letting students guide themselves to graduation. 
um, as I said, by viewing progress on, on their app at any time. And that's, that's really great because it lets the students have a place where they can see all their progress at any time that they need to. And it lets them take ownership and accountability over their progress. And we've, yeah, like we've said, we've heard from our partner schools that students are, are taking much more um, accountability over getting to class on time, getting those skills completed um, right away or on time and also having uh, doing better on their grades because they can see their grade book in their hand. Oh, and here's a view of the of one of the student views where you know they're practice they're tracking their practical operations. You can see the haircuts, blow dries, and different skills that they've been practicing and their progress towards each of those. All right, one of the last um, benefits for this uh, pivot point integration is just simple data storage and management. Um, this process establishes um, a very compliant and scalable process. You know, the it's it's reliable, so the the data is accurate and uh, is documented, so that can be shared easily uh, across departments. And then, um, yeah, like it says, in response to auditor, auditor requests, that data will be really easily um, found in course key that comes from the points lab. All right, so how you can get involved here. We have had different waves that we're calling them for the um, for the, we had the pilot uh, program and that we've done wave one and now we're on to wave two. And we are starting reservations for this wave today. So um, if you'd like to get involved, today is a um, great chance to get involved with our phase two release. And we're gonna tell you how you can do that right now. So how you can reserve your spot. Now, I just wanna preface by saying, we I know in this webinar, we didn't really get into the, the nitty gritty details and a, a demonstration of this integration. Um, that is something that will yield a lot more value to you and your school specifically. And I encourage you to, um, you know, fill out the, the post webinar survey and we can get in touch with you to set up that meeting to really take you through these specifics and how it would apply to your school. Um, really have, taking that demo is, is gonna be the best way to learn about um, how this will impact you. But to reserve your spot for the second wave, we have a post webinar survey that'll pop up once the webinar is done. And um, you can just say, indicate yes on that first question there. And we'll see that and we'll get, um, get in touch with you um, based on your answer there. And then for yes, those people- And to um, be clear, if I can just add one thing. So keep, keep an eye out for that, that post webinar survey. As far as like expressing interest, it's, it's no obligation or anything like that. It's just, you know, do you wanna see a, a more formal one-to-one -one demo and get a pricing quote for your particular, you know, institution? Um, we'll, we'll see that um, and, and that, that would be, you know, that would be the next step. That's right. And for those of you that are watching later on the recorded version, um, you, since you won't have access to the survey, you can um, definitely reach out to either me or Adam here at these email addresses and um, we'll get in touch with you. But that's really the overview of, of the integration and why we built it, how it's affecting the partner schools that are um, using this already. And I would like to um, take this time to open it up to our audience. If, if you have any questions that Adam and I can answer right now, this is a great time to ask them. And if they are if they're very technically specific, um, we will we'll mark them down and, and get back to you. Um, but if, if not, Adam and I will try our best to answer. Yeah, or, or if you think of them later, which is what I'm world famous for, as soon as I jump off a webinar, yeah, I wish I had asked that. Just shoot one of us an email, it's totally fine. We'll, we'll track down an answer for you if we don't know the answer ourselves. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, we haven't had any questions come in. Um, we'll give it another few seconds. Karen says, thank you. Thank you, Karen, for being here. Oh, we had one Q&A. Um, here we go. Is your software compatible with the SMART system? And I see Nancy also asked um, if it will work with SMART. Adam, do you have an insight on if we are working with SMART? I know it's been on our radar. Not, not, not yet. So this particular integration is specific to fame. Um, there are others that we 
are planning, um, you know, additional uh, additional SISs, but this this one specifically is for Fame. Um, uh, we're not in we're not in Smart yet. Yeah, that's a great question though. Um, with the pivot point integration, we we should be able to connect it to other um, SISs that Korsky integrates with. Um, Smart is not one of them yet. Uh, Nancy says, "How can I get info on Fame?" Also a great question. Um, Adam, do you have an idea for how she can get info on Fame? Um, it's a good it's a good question. I it, it depends. I mean. Um, if you have an account, I mean, I guess it depends on specifically what it is that you're, you know, looking to to know or or understand. Um, fame, um, fame, I'm sure has a lot on on their website, um, and your your account rep at Pivot Point um, may have additional information for it um, for you as well. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for the question. And Stacy asks if we have any Canadian-based SISs that um, it integrates with. I'm not sure if they're Canadian-based or not. We do have a handful of integrations um, active, and you can see those on our website. Um, let's see, Stacy. I can also send you a follow-up email with the, the with the uh, systems that we do integrate with. Great yeah, question. We, we have a pretty wide variety of, of integrations with different systems, right? It's not just LMSs and SISs, it's, you know, CRMs, you know, as well. There's, there's a pretty big breadth there. That's right. And Debbie, she just gave the address for fame. Uh, it's www.fameinc.com. So thanks Debbie for that information. All right. Well, oh, we have one more. Oh, Nancy says thanks. Okay, great. Um, hey, if that's the extent of the questions, then I think we can wrap it up. Thank you all, you all so much for spending part of your day with us today. Um, I really appreciate you um, joining us and learning more about our pivot point integration. We would love to get more or get in touch with you and speak more about you know your specific um, school's goals and how we can help you achieve those. Um, Korski is really in the business of empowering the greatest vocational schools in the country and around the world. So that includes you all, and we'd love to, to talk with you. All right, um, that's it. Thank you, Adam, for being part of the webinar, and thank you all again for, for spending part of your day with us. Thanks, everyone. We appreciate you spending the last half hour with us. Okay, bye. Bye.